Well, Scott, great to see you, man. Thanks for, good to see you too, man. Thanks for coming in. You know, it's uh, I mean, I feel like it's great every step of your career, like seeing you, you know, since back in the core days and through 12 Bar Blues and, you know, all the different things and just back and forth, even with Velvet Revolver, you know, I've, I've been there with you along the way in many different places and it's, I, I just, I'm always happy when you come out with some new material, so I'm really excited about Happy and Galoshes. Talk to me about uh, when you came up with the idea to start working on this double album. And what, did you always kind of see it as a double or did it, did it come together as you were writing songs? It just sort of came together, um, you know, I... I have my own studio, and it's always evolving. Uh, you know, we're always, uh, uh, you know, collecting vintage gear, um, uh, and uh, um, so you know, it's 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 a it's a place uh, to go and you know get away. It's a uh, it's it's like. Um, a place to to chill. It's a place to you know um, relax, and it's also a place to uh, to purge. You know, um, you know, uh, during times uh, you know when I've had uh, uh, problems with uh, my re relationship, uh, um, you know, uh, that's when there's been uh, you know the biggest chunks of the writing and. Uh, uh, and really, it's uh, there's some songs on there that um, have uh, they've been written um, uh, since the last one came out. Um, so in other words, you're working on some of these things since literally all over those years. Yeah, but the the majority of it has been over the last uh, couple of years. So when we really sort of knew. Um, uh, when the album was going to come out, uh, and once we got the label together and uh, started signing artists, and uh, um, you know, we had an actual idea when it was going to come out, and and I also sort of really realized where I wanted to be in my life. Um, I didn't, I don't want to be touring with you know, big rock band, uh, you know, constantly. Uh, forever, like you know. I mean, you know, because you went through, after you know the first STP split, did a lot of touring with Velvet Revolver for those two albums. You were on the road for a long time, a long time, yeah. And then, of course, picked up with the STP tour, yeah, which which was which was pretty long tour as well, six months, yeah. So I mean, during during in between and during this time when you would get a little time off on the road, would you go back and like start writing and go in the studio and using this as kind of your other outlet, going back and doing new things? Yeah, because. Uh, you know, there wasn't the pressure to write hits. It was more like an art project, you know. And, you know, relationships, too. You know, we talk about that, and I say this on the air a lot, because being a you know, divorced guy who's been through divorce, been through, you know, the pain of divorce and all, all the all the things that trickled down from that. You know, by the way, I should say, it's Matt Pinfield in the morning, 1019 RXP. I'm in the studio with Scott Wyman. Um, you know, I get that, and, and I love the fact that you're using it almost as a therapeutic way to deal with what you go through is that what you found was one of the best ways of, of dealing with that split um definitely uh, as well as uh the the death of uh my brother who was uh you know always was my best friend um and how did your brother die was it did, did he get sick Scott, uh, no so uh, it was drug related uh it ended up uh you know being uh cardiomyopathy um which was uh, a drug related uh uh, heart ailment. I'm sorry to hear that about you losing your brother, Scott. Thank you. You know? And what songs, I mean, so so it was those two things happening very close together yeah. that made you go in. Now, when you were writing, when you were writing by yourself, I mean, your, your partner in production in the studio, did, did he help us with some of the writing parts? Oh, yeah, well? yeah. I mean, the, the, you know, over the years, uh, my trust in, in Doug uh, grew, and uh, I gave up um, more of the control, um, and uh, you know, it's our ability to sort of uh, you know bounce ideas off each other, off each other. Um, uh, you know, it's it just uh, it, it it that became more of a a, a bond, and uh, and you know, we developed our own style. Uh, uh, but this record is still similar in a sense to the first record where um, it's, you know, it's got 
a lot of styles on it. It's because it's, it's influenced by every sort of music that I like. It's just a lot more focused. 